Elizabeth counts some low carbs, and on this episode, we're gonna do a freezer, fridge, pantry clean out coming up next. Hi loves, hi loves, hi loves, it's Elizabeth counts some low carb. And if you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe, would love to see you again. I'm wearing my Golden Girls t-shirt, for goodness sakes. That should give some extra clicks for the like button. But hey, um, I, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb. I have lost 50 pounds on the ketogenic diet. Um, I'm a mom to a two-year-old and a wife. Those are my most two important titles in life. Um, but I am also a serial business owner owning lots of successful businesses, pre-production for a TV show, writing a book, blah, blah, blah. Which just basically means my life is very busy just like yours. And so I wanted to do one of our videos because all of our counts and our countesses out there um, is we all need to do a pantry challenge together. Pantry, fridge, freezer. And my amazing sister helped me come up with this idea because we were talking about it one day about how she inspired me to clean out um, something in her kitchen and I inspired her and we were like bouncing off of each other and same thing with my best friend. Um, and I wanted to get everybody involved because I thought our collective energies could cheer each other on and help motivate. So, and save us some money, right? Like, who doesn't want to save money? Right here, we've got lofty financial goals in the Count and Countess household. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing, and I'm gonna flip the camera around, is I'm gonna show you what I have and then I'm gonna show you as we go through and like how I'm gonna break it down and how this correlates to the ketogenic diet. Um, and I'll, let me just, let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, so in here we're gonna figure out how to make meal plans. So I've had these drumsticks in here for a while. My husband's gonna crack open his smoker and we're gonna use those in our smoker, the drumsticks. Um, I have got to get rid of these chicken breasts. Those need to go out and I need to make something with those. I have lots of hamburger in there. Um, and I'm gonna go through and there's green beans and I'm gonna pull all this out, but I don't, I'm probably not gonna do it on camera to see exactly taking an inventory. So the first step is take an inventory of what you have in your freezer and then take an inventory of what you have in your refrigerator. So in here, I see we need a whole bunch more eggs because I need to make hard boiled eggs because we are out. I need more avocados. Some of y'all probably saw on Facebook or Instagram my avocado rotation system. Um, we have tons of bacon um, that needs to get eaten. I just took this out to thaw them. They're my scallops. I'm gonna break those apart. Um, we have our heavy whipping cream supply. And I am running so low on um, Kerrygold butter. This gives me anxiety that I don't have enough. So I'm going to need to get more of that at the grocery store. Okay, so for the first step, as you heard, first one is take an inventory of everything that you have. Second step is going to make a meal plan, food plan out of what you do have. You may have seen in my other videos my post-it meal plan. I'm going to incorporate that in this video too. I'm going to take all this stuff up and put my post-its back on there. I do super well when the family can visually see what we're eating for dinner, so I'm going to reincorporate that back into our system. Sometimes life just gets hectic, and it's been hectic since I did my post-it system. But this is the other stuff in my pantry. You'll see there's tons of snacks in there. Again, I have a two-year-old and I have a husband that doesn't follow keto. We do it as fast as we can, but you'll see some other things in here like this tuna is in here. All of my spices. I want to make a taco seasoning, and some of y'all have asked how I make my keto taco seasoning. Um, so I'm going to make up a bunch of that. I have tons of tomato sauce in here that needs to get eaten. So basically my mission here is to eat as much out of our fridge and our freezer as possible with minimally buying from the grocery store to save us money, um, but also to eat really super, super keto. Um, I'm a proponent of having a stockpile and having emergency preparedness, but also in the same breath you need to rotate through that so stuff's not wasting. So let me go in the basement and show you the final thing that we have. Okay, here is inside of our freezer. There's more broccoli. Whenever I see this from Aldi, the organic broccoli, I buy it because it's only $1.89. And let's get an inventory of what else we have in here. Lots of broccoli. Okay, chicken leg quarters. Those need to be eaten. Those have been in there for a while. I've got a ham. That needs to be eaten. We have ribs because we make keto ribs out of those. More drumsticks. Oh, and there's more fresh ground turkey. I need to use that up too. Okay, so there is lots of broccoli in here, like six or seven bags. Um, I found some petite sirloins. I'm gonna bring those up. These were also from my on sale dolly hop, do, dolly, 
um, haul from Aldi where I buy my discounted meat. I have that in other videos. Excuse my nasally voice, I feel like I'm getting sick. Um, I have these in other videos of where I talk about how I get discounted meat um, and that helps save us on our um, grocery bills because I buy things when they're on sale and I stock up on them. So we're gonna use our stockpile this week. My goal at the grocery store is to buy um, no more than $20 worth of stuff and um, yeah, use what's in our stockpile. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now that I have my inventory of everything that we have in our refrigerator, our freezer, our freezer chest, and our pantry. I've looked at everything in our stockpile. And again, this was super, super cost savings because I bought things on sale, but it's not cost savings if it spoils and goes bad. So I made a list of everything that we have, and now I'm gonna look at our calendar and see, okay, what do we have on what night? What does it realistically can I do with given like the constraints of work, having, um, I got my Golden Girls t-shirt on. Um, what constraints can we do with work having, um, you know, if we're out one night for an event, or if I know I have some business meetings, which I do have this week, that should be factored in. I'm not gonna make a huge ham, for example, that's one of the things I do have. I'm not gonna make a big ham um, if I know I have to hop on a conference call or have like, it, it would logistically wouldn't work out. So I'm gonna look at my calendar, so that's the next step. After you take the inventory, is to look at your calendar and to figure out what realistically would fit where from your inventory, and then number three is gonna be writing it down. So I have my inventory, now I'm gonna write it down, of, okay, what fits where for this week that we can start using up. If I need, for example, um, bacon and scallops is super, super simple. Like that takes me like 20 minutes, I can do that with a freezer bag of broccoli. I'm gonna do that on a night that I usually have a Facebook Live or have business meetings because it's super, super simple to do. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna start writing the meal plan of what we're gonna have. So I figured out my foods, there's all my food plan, and now I'm gonna put that together with the days of the week that I have, but you'll see on here, for example, I put, you can't read backwards, this is backwards, but it says um, drumsticks and the smoker with um, a keto veggie. I'm not quite sure what the keto veggie is going to be, um, keeping it a little flexible, but I put at the top, thaw Monday night, as I, so I'm gonna have this on Wednesday. It's a reminder of when to pull meat out of the freezer. And some of y'all asked, how do I know when to pull the meat out of the freezer or when to do my avocado rotation? We talked about that on Facebook and Instagram. Put below, do you use your freezer? Put in the comments, I would love to see. Um, do you use your freezer for your meat to help rotate things? And do you have a really cool meat rotation system and an avocado rotation system? We talked about the avocado rotation system, but I would love to hear yours. And because this is a great cost savings way, right? It's a great way to cost save. So this reminds me on Wednesday, I'm gonna see this Monday night, I need to thaw my meat um, so the drumsticks won't be frozen. And I also learned because of my amazing sister, um, you can get food poisoning. I did not know this. If you take frozen meat from the freezer and put it in your crock pot, and you start the crock pot, it will give, it potentially could give you food poisoning. I did not know that because of the bacteria in there. It's really not good for you. I was like, oh my God, that's like all I do is take frozen meat. So you have to allow time to make sure it's fully thawed um, before you put it in the crock pot. So this is going to be my Wednesday night one. Now I'm just gonna go through and put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm gonna put it up on the fridge so I can visually see. And then we're gonna talk about, okay, what do I need to get at the grocery store to fill in what I don't have and figuring out the cost denomination that goes along with that. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it off my fridge and put up my meal plan on there so visually everybody can see what we're gonna be eating this week. Okay, so put on there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have my other meal ideas. I'm gonna get those more concrete once I know a couple of, I'm waiting for a couple of email replies and that will dictate my schedule as to what we will make, like if I'm gonna be making it a sirloin or am I gonna be making tuna cans that night. But my goal for this week is to spend only $20 in groceries at the grocery store, maybe 25, but using this will help visually keep me on track and keep my family on track too. Okay, so that ends part one of the series. I'm gonna make this a two-part video because there's a whole bunch more steps in our pantry, freezer, fridge, challenge, clean out. If you are interested in it, go ahead and put below. Make sure you click like on this button, click subscribe. And if you're a VIP coaching client, we have an exclusive group working just solely on our pantry, fridge, fridge freezer, clean out challenge. If you wanna be a part of that VIP group, it's only $27 per month. I'm putting the link down in the description below. We'd love to have you apply to be a part of it, um, but we are doing this together collectively as a group. But I can tell you, and I'll jump ahead into the part two series, 
I saved in one week over $60 and I lost five pounds as a result of this. So I'm so stoked about it. So again, this is part one, part two will be in the description link below. And then also, um, if you're interested in having accountability with other people doing this together, um, we're doing it in our VIP coaching group. So um, make sure you like this uh, video, click subscribe and share it with a friend. Do this with a friend, but you guys do this with a friend. You don't have to do this by yourself. So wishing you a great day. Bye.